uh, how do we differentiate Sitya Muni for that for Siam from Amito for for Siam? Why do we chant read with Amito for and not Sitya Muni for? Uh, okay. So the, the first question is uh, how do we differentiate Sitya Muni for Siam from Amito for for Siam? Uh, the they usually have uh, certain um, certain things that they are carrying or certain indication uh, to to mark the difference. So uh, let me see. Uh, for Amitofo, usually flanking Amitofo is Kwan Sin Pusa and Ta Sin Si Pusa. Then from there you can tell that this is uh, Amitofo. Uh, usually for um, Sijia Moni for flanking him is uh, either either uh, Seli for Junze and Mutian Junze or Chia Se Junze and uh, the Anan Junze. Uh, so from this, you can tell that this is Sijia Moni for. Uh, so if it's Theravada temple, you usually see. Uh, the Sali for Zunze and Mu Jilin Zunze, because these are the recognized two chief disciples. Uh, there are many chief disciples, but this is the two foremost one. Yeah. Then for Chinese Mahana Temple, uh, you will see Chia Se Zunze and uh, Anan Zunze. And the reason being, um, for most of this temple, uh, they recognize Chia Se Zunze as the Chuan Chen. The, the Chan Zhong, the, 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 uh, so photo is, is, uh, is like uh, the, the, the uh, photo is photo. <laughs> yeah. Then they believe that uh, photo Chuan Yi Bo to Jia Se Zun Zhe. Yeah. I mean, there is the Sutta that talk about how Venerable uh, Maha Kashapa. Uh, he, the Buddha actually exchanged ropes with him, yeah. But the the different traditions interpret that differently, yeah. yeah. So in the Theravadan tradition, um, it was because from what I know, uh, it was because Venerable Mahakashapa he practiced uh, ascetism, yeah. So uh, while he's very elderly, but he was still wearing the tattered ropes and so on. So I think there was some incident and then the Buddha exchanged with him so that he can get a new set, something like that. But the Zen, uh, Zen tradition, the Chinese Zen tradition, take it that, oh, the Buddha has appointed him as his uh, next in line. <laughs> yeah. Uh, then how about Venerable Ananda? So supposedly after Jia Se Zhe, then Jia Se Zhe supposedly um, Pass the torch to Anan Junze. Yeah, so that's why in the Chinese Mahana tradition, the Buddha is flanked by Chia Se Junze and uh, Anan Junze. Whereas for Theravada tradition, is flanked by uh, the two chief disciples, uh, Seli Fo Junze and uh, Mo Xilin Junze, Venerable yeah. Sariputra and Venerable Maha Mukalana. So, why do we chant and greet with Amitofo and not Sutya Monifo? Yeah, so there are some venerables who, who greet uh, Namo for, <laughs> yeah, so cover all Buddha. Yeah. Uh, there are also, I've, I think I've encountered some who recite Sitya Rulai. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so why Amitofo? Uh, it has to do with how, uh, if you look at Chinese temples by and large, um, yeah, and at some point, most uh, most temple actually practice both, yeah. Then, as I mentioned before, the the practice of um, saying Amitofo uh, was our was our way of emulating one of the Jing Tu Zhong the Zhu Si, yeah. So um, this became prevalent. In a way, it reflects how um, the 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 
um, the state of Buddhism. Yeah, it reflects in a way the state of Buddhism uh, because this didn't happen right at the start. Mm. Yeah, this didn't happen right at the start. This happened gradually and at a later stage. And it has to do with um, how at a certain point, um, well, Chinese history, yeah, throughout China's history, um, uh, the, there has not been a long period of stability. Yeah, uh, very tumultuous. A lot of the dynasty is only a few decades. Uh. <laughs> yeah. Uh, sometimes you look at the Cao Dai, like, wow, and Feng Guang, but actually the whole Cao Dai consists of sub Cao Dai, and each of the sub Cao Dai is quite short. Yeah. A lot of the emperor die at 40 plus 50 years old. Yeah. <laughs> Maybe that's why Qing Si Wang want to live forever. <laughs> so I want to tell yeah. <laughs> yeah, but as a result, right? Um, difficult for most people to develop um, much culture and knowledge. Yeah. Because if you are half the time running around, <laughs> how to how to do so. <laughs> yeah. Um, so that's one because of the dong, dong dan, uh, because of the tumultuous state that China was in. Then the other reason is uh, what we call Yu Ming Yeah, rule by ignorance. Mm. This is very common in uh, monarchies. Yeah. So when there's kings and emperor uh, ruling, um, then the tendency is they don't want people to be smart. Hmm. Can you all guess why, why the kings and emperor don't want people to be smart? So that do they, they don't get overthrown. Uh, but why would they get overthrown? Uh, that's a good point. But why would they get overthrown? Just because, because they, they are smart people? Because they might get outsmarted or protest. Or... Uh, uh, more or less they are. Yeah, because kings and emperors they don't they don't read they are not they are usually not reasonable <laughs> you know uh, we are a republic Singapore is a republic right so we follow the constitution and inside the constitution and shrine in it part of it is the statutes the, the legal system what is it called that's called guo fa yeah uh, Last time it's not called Guo Fa. Last time it's called Wang Fa. <laughs> so Wang Jiang <laughs> and, and this is not just China. This is the same in European countries. In practically any country that was ruled by one person. Uh, monarchs rule the whole country. They Tasu Le Suan. Yeah. Uh, they uh, so, so as a result, um, if if you are if you are if you want to rule that way, you cannot have anybody questioning you, ma. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, to do a very Yeah, a lot of interesting story I heard from the, uh, uh, the my peers, some uh, one of the uh, venerables. Uh, Chuan Xing Fasi from China. Yeah, he shared with me a lot of interesting stories about Chinese monarchies. Yeah. He told me a uh, long time ago there's this uh, emperor. So this emperor has a very capable um, minister. Um, and uh, this emperor really value him a lot, but many times want to kill him. Why? Because this minister, every time point out his mistake, <laughs> but many times never kill him. Why? Because the queen is very wise. The queen advised him, no, no, you cannot kill this, but this person. <laughs> so the king, <laughs> yeah, but ultimately still kill him. <laughs> Correct. He, he corrected the king one too many times. <laughs> <laughs> so, 
so 移民政策就是这样子了。Yeah, so the, so rule by ignorance. If I keep all, if 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 I if the king keep everybody stupid, then whatever you say, oh, 皇上英明，皇上英明。<laughs> oh, the emperor is wise. Oh, ah. <laughs> uh, Whereas, if let's say, if let's say the emperor, if the emperor is uh had like get everybody educated, then the emperor said, hmm, I think maybe we can do this. Then all the minister are, uh, 皇上，请皇上三思。Then everything 三思。So do one, yeah. Uh, but this is. The better situation, yeah. What Marcel described is true, ah,、uh, because if if your people are very smart and you are not smart enough, or you, and yet you think you are the smartest, the the worst thing is, <laughs> the problem is when the emperor is not the smartest and think he is the smartest, ah, then you have problem, because there are some emperor they know that they are not very smart, so. So they gathered a lot of smart people to help to run the country. So then the country really prosper. Yeah, but if a stupid person out there and then try to suppress, then what happen? 起谋造反咯 Then you have revolt 咯 So throughout Chinese history, all almost all the dynasties, the new dynasties are all through revolts. Yeah, all through rebel, rebel. So. Recently, I saw a documentary. It says, "Uh, China is a country of meritocracy. If you are not good enough, at some point, someone will rebel and overthrow you. <laughs> so, so if if a regime can last for a long time, uh, Chinese are the uh by Jolin, where's Jolin? Jolin ah,、uh, by Jolin. Yeah. So if the if the If the government is not strong enough or not good enough, there will be people who will want to revolt. Yeah. So then the the trouble is, as a result, Yiming Chen said, right? So you cannot if you don't have enough things up here, hard for people for people to to learn the teachings. Yeah. And I as I would say some would say that. And but because the the because Buddhism is a teaching of wisdom, so maybe along the way there's some some suppression also. In fact, there are you know the the uh, 东是三三灭什么什么的 yeah. Buddhism in China underwent some a few dynasty where the emperor suppressed and almost wiped out Buddhism. <laughs> yeah. Uh, so. As a result, the only thing that is left is, ah, nian fu la nian fu. Yeah. So there are a lot of factors. Actually, there are a lot of factors. Then in recent times, um, in recent times, then we have this other problem, because in recent times, then there are some masters who who advocate that now is the more fast time. So, ah yeah. 你你再怎么修也得不了圣道 ，so just 念佛就好了。嗯 ，but my teacher keep on highlighting. Uh, if you all if you all wish to practice pure land, then go and read the 大本无量寿经 Yeah, inside there is a 九品往生章 So you talk about how those who take rebirth, uh, or those who take rebirth in pure land, Western pure land, um.、Uh, Uh, uh, separated into nine categories, yeah, you know, three broad categories, and in each category, three subcategories. So, uh, 上品，上品，中品，下品 ，then 上品，上身，上中，上品，中身 ，and so on. Uh, 那个念佛，念佛往生，呃、uh, ，belongs to the 下品，下身，呃、uh,。My teacher gave gave a teaching right at the、uh, when I was newly ordained in Tai、uh, Taiwan Qingyang Shi, yeah, seven days of the Fu Qi. Then he touched on this, yeah. So you all can 
verify, go and re read the sutra. So he highlighted, uh, now when we say Amitabha, it's, it's also a bit different from uh, what is described in the sutra. Because what is described in the sutra um, is not merely Tsimingyanfu as well. The person also try to practice, but because Xia Ping Xia Sen Zao Le Wu Ni Jian Zui, that means you committed the five hidden states. So as a result, um, uh, but so it's supposed to be reborn in the Avicii Helma, but uh, at the point of, the, towards the end of your life, your merits and your vow ripen and you have the conditions for uh, good spiritual friends to come and remind you of the Buddha Dhamma Sangha, yeah, to, you know, uh, Ying Tao Ni Nian Fu. But uh, my teacher highlighted that in the uh, in the text, the early early ones uh, is Nian Nian Fu is without a Kou Zi Pang. Without Kou Zi Pang means it's not Chan to know. It means it's to recollect the Buddha, to think of the Buddha. Yi Nian Fu. Not just Yo Kou Wu Xing Jiang. Ami To Fu, Ami To Fu, Ami To Fu, Ami To Fu. Uh, but of course, between these two, the recollection of Buddha is, is superior. But if you compare Amitofo, Amitofo, and the one to Amitofo, <laughs> don't do anything, don't meditate, don't practice, then Amitofo is good. <laughs> Please, Amitofo, Amitofo. Uh, not saying it's not good, uh, but my teacher was highlighting that why are we relegating ourselves to the lowest possible practice? Uh, it's just like telling a small kid, yeah, don't study so hard. Uh. You anyway, you are in a lousy school, uh, so study for what? Huh? Just just copy or, <laughs> or not, not, not copy. Uh. Uh, just just uh, spot a few questions, then pass can already. <laughs> yeah, my teacher is saying, no, uh, even if you are in lousy school, who, who says it's lousy school? You study there, it's not lousy. No? You don't study, of course, it's lousy school. <laughs> Yeah. No. Uh, and because the nine different um, categories of rebirth, right? The first eight are all about uh, practitioners. The first three are the enlightened ones. The middle three are those who cultivate practice and have, uh, observe precepts, uh, have uh, the uh, concentration and so on. Yeah. And why but why why must we why don't we just chant Amitabha? Because if you really look at the Amitabha thing, right? They it's inside it says, Siren Ling Ming Zong Si Sing Bus Anang Ipu Dian Dao. Right? Si De Wang Sen Chu Sen Jing Tu, right? So Sing Yi Yi Bu San uh Sing Bu San Luan Yi Bu Dian Dao Sing Bu San Luan Yao Zen Miang Zi Chu Xiao Xiu Ding oh. Yeah, so unless you can chant Amitabha until you have the samadhi, yeah. So sing bu san luan, then you then you the sing can bu san luan. If on a daily basis, you mang this, mang that, san san luan luan of境界, yeah, yeah. The moment that the moment the government say, oh, we are going to open up the travel bubble, ooh, <laughs> uh, then. All the Amitabha gone. <laughs> then when you are going to take rebirth, Amitabha lies Jing. Then you, oh yeah, but Amitabha, I haven't go to Paris yet. <laughs> uh, you know, so the irony is, uh, don't think you go and Chao Shen is, wow, must Chao Shen then what, what? Imagine if Amitabha lies Jing, then you say, why me to Chao Shen? Then, okay, you can go to Chao Shen. <laughs> Chaosun is not an end by itself, also. Yeah, it's good, uh, and don't 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 misquote me. Tuan Zhang Qi, yeah. Uh. is good, but I must know what for you Chaosun. Yeah, then the second part, Yi Bu Dian Dao. So Yi Bu Dian Dao means you you must have right view. So if you don't learn Dharma, you just only chant Amitabha. How do you have right view? <laughs> you cannot have right view just by chanting Amitabha. Right? Yeah, or you, you hope you just shine Amitabha, then Amitabha come, then open up your head, then put right view inside. <laughs> can, 
If, if it's possible, then Buddha for 45 years don't have to teach, right? And Buddha have the, have the, uh, then he, he just he just used his oh, then permit the whole samsara with amitabha, amitabha, amitabha. Then, so but still I say it's not a bad thing to chant amitabha. Because for most people, you 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 give them this explanation and then they're like, ah, then I uh then was <laughs> model So maybe that's why some teachers say some teachers, some venerables tell the students, because he he see okay, a spot question. I, I give you exam tips, I'll give you exam tips. You know, the teacher. No, the teacher cannot teach. The teacher can teach, but face with this kind of student, I have a sort of At least you you can sit down here and then copy exam tips. Uh, yeah, do 10 year series, copy exam tips. Then and better than go outside, go and uh, go arcade store or whatever. Yeah. But Sujiam, why but conversely, how come nobody chants Sujiam only for? Have la. Actually have. Yeah. Uh, but Lesser long. Mm. And also because Sitya Moni for the Ting Tu, woman eating tao ting to the Sipyung Zai Nian Ami Pyung Zai Nian Sitya Moni for eating tao the Sitya Moni for the Ting Tu. In the Mahana teachings, he basically says that Lin Toy, Lin Toy, don't look so sad. Uh, I try to cover some English because here a lot of Chinese words are okay. She, she listened until she. Uh, I'm imagining, I, I'm imagining, uh, Linto is like, don't, don't know what he's talking about anymore. <laughs> yeah. So, uh, in the Mahana teachings, it says that um, all Buddhas have their pure land, right? Yeah, and where is that pure land? It is where that Buddha uh, attained Buddhahood. Yeah. So, because Sakyamuni Buddha attained Buddhahood here, so this is his, uh, his, his pure land. Yeah. The difference is he didn't wait until this place is, is so-called purified. Yeah. In a sense that he didn't wait until all the sentient beings are at the high level. That's why Amitabha Ching inside says that Buddhas of all 10 directions, Zan Tan, Sijia Moni Fo, why? Because all the Buddha knows that during the time of the five, um, five uh, tabulation or, or um, the five uh, difficulties uh, 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 during this period, very hard to liberate sentient beings. And when we, when we say during this period, it's not now, uh, it's Buddha's time. Uh. Buddha's time, that period is actually very difficult already. Now, even more difficult. Lah. Why? Because people have a lot of wrong views. Yeah? Our lifetime is short. Then there's sickness. Oh, a lot of problems. Uh, yeah. So that's why the, the, all the Buddhas praise Sakyamuni Buddha for his, um, his compassion, his effort to say, wow, under such difficult circumstances, you are willing to come and teach. It's like, it's like, basically, if you want to start a school, you have a choice. Start a school, uh, and, and this school is a university. So for university, you have to set certain standard, ma, or you must pass Cambridge GCE A level, have how many credits, how many A, how many B, and so on. Hey, then suddenly, there's this, this, this person who went and start university, uh, the requirement is uh, as long as you want to study, you can come in. <laughs> what? <laughs> uh, so this is what basically Buddha did. Yeah, Buddha basically set no requirement. Whoever come in, you are accepted. Yeah. It then uh, in that case, who will pass? Never mind lah. You, you don't pass also. Never mind. 
those who can pass will pass. La. Those who cannot pass, you, at least you learn some things. Then next time, go to other university and continue your study. Basically, this is what the Buddha said, right? Whoever can be uh, liberated has been liberated. Uh, whoever cannot be liberated has planted the, the wholesome roots for future enlightenment. Then do the yi do. Uh, yeah, so can you imagine? <laughs> yeah. Imagine you you and if the comparison is to start university, you need a lot of resources, right? So Buddha used up his resources to start university for <laughs> yeah. Right. We, we learned about how uh, the Buddha, uh, those Bodhisattvas, they have to practice three asankhya kapha, right? It's basically to build up the university. Yeah? <laughs> so imagine this guy save a lot of money, build a university for drop out like us. <laughs> ah, yeah. So, so, but we still don't practice. All. Oh, yeah. <laughs> So, okay, have a good Sunday. <laughs>